this is Blair speaking after 22 days of absence. Now, this is the long-awaited birthday special video. The video which was intended to showcase what my creator was doing for his 15th golden birthday. Now, for this special occasion, I'm going to introduce all my different variants for this video. First here to start off with... Good day lads and lasses across the vast oceans of the British Empire. British Blair is here at your service. Why hello, it's Mohawk Blair speaking from New York. Greetings travelers, this is Plain Blair, otherwise known as Clipper Gem of the Ocean N730PA. Reporting sign Clipper. Say hello passengers, this is the SS Belgeland, flagship of the Red Star Line. And I'm the real Blair, the man behind the strings. Congratulations, you met all the Blairs. Welcome to the Blair universe. American Blair, my dear engine. Is this gonna be one of your series again? Hey, what do you think when my daylight counterpart does a series? It dies after like two episodes. Does this happen every time Blair makes a series? Oh yeah, you can bet it. That one MCAR series hasn't had an episode for like a year. Oh uh, yeah, thanks for the reminder, Mohawk Blair. Alright, creator, what scripting have you got for us? What are you talking about? This is scriptless. Wait, this is unscripted? Oh, yeah, sweet to improvise, we? Well, creator, I don't know about improvising. Improvising is dangerous in my industry. You have to follow a checklist to maintain the safety of passengers and crew. So much so, that it's plastered all over my control yoke. Creator, I do have a question, though. Why is the video unscripted exactly? Oh, uh, let's just say I couldn't airdrop the videos of the experience sooner, and I couldn't spend any more time making a script for it, which I'd eventually have abandoned due to more time out of the project, so no script. Yeah, don't come crying to us, pal, if we gaff. I do have one last question before the video starts, creator. You went to a water park, correct? And since we're all basically you, but in the consciousness of some vehicles, that means we'll have to read from your experiences. Unfortunately, whereas that means you have to say things that trains normally wouldn't say. Or planes and ships, for this matter. Yeah, we can thank you later for salivating at things we'll never get to experience. Well, either way, I'm glad to do it. Just get the video started already! It's been 22 days since my birthday! Okay, okay, jeez! Alright, Blast! Harmonize, harmonize, everybody! Get your non-existent well, vocal here goes nothing. ready for speaking! Ready? And commence for! August 13, 2021. The day my family arrived back to Nassau. Now, the thing is, I don't live in Nassau anymore. We moved as of May to our other island in Abaco. So, to come back to Nassau, nostalgia overwhelmed me. But what overwhelmed me more was the gift they had for my birthday. A four night stay at one of the Bahamas' most prestigious hotel resorts, Bahamar. Bahamar wasn't really familiar to me, considering that I visited the place multiple times. But the real attraction was the newly opened water park, Baja Bay, which included the Caribbean's only floor rider ride, as well as multiple other rides catering to all sorts of audiences. Ranging from areas for children to the most thrill riding experiences for teenagers and grown ups alike. Although Baja Mar is not as big as the land that's not too far down the road, it was certainly impressive and beautifully landscaped too. With grass, plants, trees, and all sorts of forestry all surrounding the area. Now, my family and I visited the place before, two days prior to August 15. But when the big day came, we knew it was no time to be idle. We had to go. And this is the moment that Blair enters the cabana. And when the day officially starts. So this is the cabana. How cool is this? It's like they spent all this money for me. I feel bad. 
Also, no, my family are not millionaires. Ooh, look, we have some cards. All from friends and family. So this is the first card with bees all over it, balloons, and a heart. Pretty self-explanatory. On the second, it's just Blair. Huh, chair. And this one, it's got three stick figures, or is it balloons? And this Blair with a little... Is that an okay hand? Of course, it took me a while to open up the cards, given that I haven't opened a birthday card in like a year. But when I finally opened it, thanks to ripping up the paper, I figured out it was a card from a very good friend of her family, Piera van der Weyl. And not just any good friend, we treat her like an adopted sister oh, slash daughter. I have a feeling it's from Piera. <laughs> Ship names on the balloons. Oh, that's cool. Smart, wolfing, and... Kind. Okay, okay. It's, I haven't done cursive stuff in a while, so it'll be a laugh for me to read. There are all the qualities that I see every day. And if you ever need me, I will be here for advice or a cut. Uh, keep creating, keep... Is this from our... No, 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 Writing. it's cursive. Cursive. <laughs> Keep writing the get weights. So we are all reunited again. Love you, Blair. Love your. Oh, well, this is concerning, American Blair. If you can't read cursive, then you can't read anything. Can we move on, please? This says chair, I mean Blair. Oh, okay. well, this one is the one to open compared to chairs. Is this from? Oh, it's from Pierre's parents as well. This one is from Leslie. Now, if you're all Australian and watch Bondi Rescue, you might recognize that name from somewhere. <laughs> now, let's see, the third one. This one I also struggled with, but ended up opening. Oh, big birthday wishes. I haven't seen this face in years. Oh, just a year. Who is this one? Hi Blair, when rain wants to fall, adjust from a cloud. May the unprecedented blessings drop on you every day of your life. Happy birthday, 15th birthday for you. That's as awesome as you are. Happy birthday. Cheers, Erlen. Just wondering, Erlen's one of our other family members that she's not part of the family bloodline, but she's a part of our family, so to speak. Now that we have birthday cards out of the way, now I can show you the park. I'm also wondering if you can't go down that, this is for show. All these stores. Just make a little extra buck. And all these signs. Bahama Resort. The Surf, the Pavilion, Kids Island Slides, Stingray Cove, and Turtle Beach. This, we have a uh, burger thing. My, you Miami Burger, the music player. This is your typical burger place. Rooms for males and females. We got more stairs leading to the Baja Bay surfing simulator. I wouldn't call it a simulator, but yeah, it's like one of those wave things you see on cruise ships. And you got the Pirates Plunge water slides, more cabanas, the pavilion. I'm not sure what the pavilion thing is, but I'm assuming it's a restaurant. Pavilion is actually a casino. So just look at these whole cabanas, like, they're not bad. Alright, so we got the information box. The all-known holy source of information. This purple star means you are here. Question mark means guest services. This means restrooms. This is lockers. You're like changing in your things stuff. And this means tickets, this is first aid, and this is parking. Retail chefs for Gabby Not Splash, Sun Hunt, Island Essentials, and Vineyard Vines. Now, attractions is Turtle Beach. And Turtle Beach is just right here. The river, Action River. Now, it's more so like a lazy river ride, right? but unlike the Atlantis one, it's more so calm and conservative. Stingray Cove, it's a family play area. Baja Bay Lagoon, Wave Pool. Cyclone Rush, Group Heart Rap. No, Group Rap Ride. What? 
Thunderball Speed Slide, which is very scary. Dueling Riptide, Uphill Water Slide, which is right there. Hammerhead, Group Wrap Ride, Devil's Backbone, and Speed Slide. Food and Beverage, 25 North. The Market, The Sugar Factory. Mmm, The Chill. The Barracuda, Sam's, Crispy Chicken, Plant Nation, and Clear Bread. Cabanas and smoking areas, you not quite the white and smoke. Imagine smoking. We got a little bit of an interesting sign over here. Also an interesting post. It's all the locations of the world. And we're, how far you are from them? Apologizing to all my Mexican viewers, but to the border I go! Alright, so now that I showed you the basics of this border park, I'm gonna just go on all the rides. Almost all the rides. Not guaranteeing I'll go on some. Four days I stayed at Bahamar was utter fun. I tried on all the rides and I even got some new surfing skills. We can't surf for vehicles. Unfortunately, we don't have any GoPro videos of us in the rides because we didn't bring them. And second, it probably wouldn't have mattered considering I don't think we would have been allowed to bring them. But what matters most is the memories we can cherish. Some of the rides, like Dueling Riptide, became an instant favorite for the family. Now for the big reveal, did I go on the Thunderball? Uh, I'm sorry to say, no I did not. I ended up going on Devil's Backbone though, so that ends up uh, making up for something. Every day we were out in the park, the water pool is the number one priority. We were just tired just from swimming in it. And when the fun was all over, we had something to eat. Okay, uh, for real, during the time at the park, uh, a couple of girls my age actually noticed me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Calm down, focus, focus. Someone is desperate. Okay. What's wrong with flight attendants? Uh, okay, uh, moving on. After one last laser river ride, we called it quits, and then we moved back to the hotel. Do you know that night was Chinese takeout, given that all the restaurants were closed that night? Other activities we did besides the water park was Dean's Blue Hole, which is a side attraction in Bahamar. And whilst we were at it, we were checking out Bahamar's restaurants, which provide very different selections of meals, including theme, setting, etc. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Daylight Blur. You like refined food. Now, mind if you tell you a beautiful audience what happened at the end of the story? Alright, uh, anyway... After the fun was over, we ended up returning home to our permanent home, Abaco. I'll probably explain why I said it like that at a different time. So if any of my audience members wonder how I'm doing, I'm alright. Life in Abaco is great. It may not be anything like how the American be. viewers live, but it might be reminiscent of how my viewers in Asia live somewhat. Life's great, I'm starting school again, and for the first time in a long while, I genuinely feel happy about myself. I'll explain why in the next video, but yeah, just saying, I'm happy and I'm good, and I'm happy being 15 years old. Well, Creator, how was that for an ending? It could have been a little less dragged out, but I think it's alright. Pfft, <laughs> that's what my pilots used to say whenever I used to do a not-so-smooth landing. Bravo work for all of you. Now I'm just gonna see how long this video is. Uh, should we tell him it's about 14 minutes? Oh, uh, no, Nate, he already knows. Oh, shoot, gotta wrap this video up. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, prepare for the next video where we'll talk about. Thanks for the birthday wishes, both belated and early, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.